In this video, I'm gonna break down my remote high ticket sales journey where I ran from a broke 22 year old college dropout with negative $26 in my bank account to becoming someone who was able to do over $35 million in sales in just six years. And I was only able to do this by unlocking four different stages in my journey, which I'm gonna break down for you today. My name is Wahaj. I was born and raised in Pakistan, Karachi. Grew up with a family of eight people, two parents, six of us siblings. Came to Canada when I was five years old. We moved around eight to ten times, different homes, different elementaries, and life was just always on the go, I felt like. But one thing my mom always stilled in me when I was young, hey, family is going to be the thing that sticks by your side forever. And that was true my entire childhood. Everything changed except for my family. Phew. <laughs> So I'm sure you guys have already heard the immigrant story and my story was the same. Big immigrant family coming to Canada, parents work in regular jobs. The goal was for us kids to get university degrees and get great jobs and make enough money so that the, the trip was worth it for my parents. Starting off, my oldest brother, he got a finance degree. My second oldest got a mining engineering degree. My third oldest brother got a mechanical engineering degree. So one, two, three, they were just you know hitting the mark. And then came me, barely graduated high school my teacher gave me a 50 percent mark and i was able to pass and then i went to university actually a college community college took out a student loan got ten thousand dollars in debt and dropped out my first semester so that was the black sheep of my family i had nothing else to do this is where i entered the first stage of my life the brokey stage i worked at a gas station i worked at a pizza shop i worked in construction i worked at retail and i worked at a golf course and i got five fired at the pizza shop, I got fired at the gun club, I got fired at the gas station, and I even got fired at my golf course job. Anyways, when I got fired at the gun club, I actually went on EI, which is employment insurance, like the government was paying me money because I was unemployed. And I remember this was like lowest moment in my life. My mom came home one day with a pamphlet and this pamphlet was going to school, but the school was for farming school. And I was like, when I looked at my mom's eyes, she gave me this pamphlet hoping that her son would do something with his life that's when i knew i was a total disappointment and total failure that's when i knew i had to change and i couldn't let my mom feel like that and so the first thing that i actually did was i ended up finding this book in my library okay the millionaire fast lane this book when i read this it told me exactly why I was broke. All the things that I did on a daily basis, which was complaining, blaming my environment, blaming other people, living paycheck to paycheck, spending money on stuff that doesn't matter, being very materialistic, giving a shit about what people think. I was like reading the book. Every time it called me broke in different ways or poor in different ways, I got pissed off because I'm like, hey, that is me, hey, that is me. And this book really humbled me very, very quickly because I was in the poor category and I didn't want to be poor anymore. So this book actually really helped me a lot with my initial mindset from changing from a brokey to this next stage of my life, which was going to be me stepping into the NPC role. Uh, but before I did that, I actually read another book. The other book was called Think and Grow Rich. What this book actually taught me was that your mind can actually control your reality because the thoughts that you have in your conscious mind, but more importantly, your subconscious mind is actually going to control everything that you do and how you look at certain things in your life because you could look at for example if i drop my phone i could look at it as oh i'm so clumsy i'm so silly i'm so stupid and i look at life throughout that lens or i can just be like oh my phone dropped two very different perspectives on the same exact thing but obviously this happens on a much deeper level with some other things that might actually impact how you think of something and the first change that i started to make was i started taking full accountability of all of my actions because then when i look back at all the jobs that i failed got fired at when i reflected back on it i was like hey i was actually in control because now if i'm in control then i can control what's going to happen in the future just because i can change my action and the next thing i did to take control was that i needed to make money so i did what any regular kid would do how to make money online and this was like february of 2017 i came across drop shipping now drop shipping at this time was like 
very, very new. I had a credit card with $1,000 balance, started a drop shipping store, found a course online, I ripped it, got it for free, went through all the material, learned it all, and then started setting up my Shopify store, set up my Stripe, I started running Facebook ads, and I made my first online sale. I remember like the feeling of making my first ever dollars online. I was like 21 years old. I got the Shopify notification and I ran around my house screaming like, I'm gonna make it, I'm rich, I'm a millionaire. And my mom was like so confused. Uh, but that's when I knew like I was going to make it. Fast forward that entire month, I learned that business is actually hard. It's not that easy to make money because products that was uh, that I was buying and the ads that I was running versus the sales that I was getting in wasn't making me any profit. I actually lost a couple hundred dollars by the end of this month. I had to shut down the store and then just call it quits because I couldn't take on any more credit card debt because I had no more money and I got a regular job again. So in this NPC stage of my life, uh, I did learn a few lessons. I knew there was a possibility there, but I needed cold hard cash. I needed money in my bank account so that I could do things. And so I actually got a sales job. And at the time, I remember I didn't even know what sales was. I got a regular telecommunication sales job at a call center. And I remember going through the first month of training. They do role plays instead of the entire classroom. 30 people that you are all, all getting trained up with. You have to talk in front of the entire classroom. I remember I was like stuttering on my role plays when I had to do it in front of people. I hated it. That feeling, it's like eating, clawing at you. And I remember calling my friend. I'm like, hey, I hate this job so much. I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. And I remember that feeling. Fast forward six months, I was one of the best sales reps in the company in the entire nation. When I reflected on that journey, realized was when my back was against the wall and I did something that I didn't like doing, I actually got good. I learned something, I developed, I grew. I was like, whoa, I'm actually capable. An entire year went by, I started making like $50,000 a year at 21 years old. And it was really good money at the time. I was able to like go out with my friends. I was able to travel a little bit, buy myself nice things. I wasn't living paycheck to paycheck anymore. And so I had some money, like five, 10 grand saved up. I was investing some money. Uh, and so this was like the NPC stage of my life. So after an entire year passed, I actually I actually quit my job and I started working with my brother because we were starting a marketing business. I gave my job a two weeks notice, jumped in with my brother. I started selling his marketing agency services. And then within the first month, I landed, I think, two clients. There was one dentist and one lawyer, total paying us like 3K each, so total 6K. I was just like, whoa, this was boring because the sales process is different, but it's cool. And so the agency started doing really well because I was a salesperson there. In 2018, online business was booming. There was a, a big need for marketing agencies. And so he decided to teach people because the people were coming to him to, hey, how do I do this for myself? How do I make money like you're making money? And so we launched our first info product in 2018. And so this was the next stage of my life where I was escaping the matrix. When we launched this marketing agency course, I was the first sales rep for it. Direct to consumer sales and internet phone stuff then doing b2b sales selling agency services for businesses then going to b2c selling info products selling programs and so i knew i had to actually step up and level up and what i did then was i invested in my own education i got a sales coach and i trained with him and i learned from him when i started learning like things started clicking like the light bulb started to go off and then it worked out really well it got to a point where the sales team started growing I wasn't the only salesperson. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine reps. Uh, and we were doing some really big numbers. Uh, that company started doing seven figures. Then I got to see like organization grow massive, very fast. I started doing million dollar months. Uh, I got to see everything from zero all the way to those seven figure months, uh, which was a really good experience for me. So I taught all the students how to do sales to get more clients. And I did that for two, almost three years. And I coached a total of 8,000 different people on how to make sales online for their business, uh, which gave me really good skill sets 
on leadership and coaching, hosting classes, Zoom calls with all different types of people, bring in energy. So that was like a very cool learning lesson. So stage four was actually becoming a leveraged leader. I built an outbound sales team uh, because the company was growing so big. There was lots of opportunity that was uh, being dropped. I built my team. I actually hired a few of my friends. I got four people in, built the systems that I needed to for these four people to build an outbound sales team. Within the first month, we did an extra 220K cash. Then the next one, we did 300. Then the next month after, we did like 450. And then for the next two and a half years, the revenue for that sales team, outbound sales team, hovered around 300K to 400K when the entire team was doing anywhere from 1 million to 2 million. So it was bringing a big chunk of revenue for the entire company. And I was the one that was able to bring all that value by being leveraged like I wouldn't have been able to personally just by myself make 400k for the company uh, and so I was leveraging myself my skill sets and the people that I brought on and trained up to then just add more value to me as a person for what I can bring to the company what happened was when I became this leveraged leader I was able to take systems and people and all the things that I learned when I escaped the matrix when I learned as an NPC because even that job was teaching me some structure and leadership I was able to take all these lessons over these last six years and implement it to add the most value to the people that I worked with and for and that's how I was able to get my own little piece of the pie and uh, make you know make some good money for myself that's the evolution now I've been able to build multiple eight-figure teams multiple seven-figure sales teams I've hired like hundreds of people I've interviewed thousands of people I've coached thousands of people in sales I've spoken on stages I've helped business owners travel the world it started off just me you know being a broke kid with negative 22 dollars in my bank account and now i've been able to make millions and millions of dollars for me and my clients travel the world got married have a kid but none of this would have happened if my back wasn't pushed against the wall but you also have to be strategic in how you move when you're making good money what's the next step what's the thing that you can do to become more leveraged don't just focus on on the cash don't be a solo killer or a lone wolf get good with people working with people become a good leader become a good manager and leverage people leverage systems leverage your network and make others money so that you make some money yourself hopefully that was able to help you on the journey that you're in and if it did like comment subscribe and share this with anyone that you might feel like it would help all right peace